The stock market is down once again today following yesterday's big sell-off. So the Dow found nearly 237 points or about three quarters of a percent. The S&P 500 also dropped falling nearly 23 points or about 0.6 percent. Now that came after the Dow fell more than 1,000 points just yesterday. That's its biggest one-day drop since 2020. Local 12's James Pilcher joining us tonight in studio after speaking with investment experts about how different age groups should handle this volatile market differently. Right, James? That's right. Thanks, Kyle. After last year's huge year on the stock market, 2020 has been a bumpy ride with the end of the downturn nowhere near in sight this year. But how you react depends on where you are in your investing career, according to one local expert. Rob D'Alessio is a financial advisor with Strategic Wealth Designers based here in Cincinnati. He says the market is definitely headed for bear territory or when it loses 20% of its value over about two months, something that's happened 12 times since World War II. How you react to the current market depends on where you are in your investing career and saving for retirement. The good thing is the market does come back after that, but how long? That's where age becomes a factor. D'Alessio says if you're below the age of 35, you should invest as much as you can. If you're in the midst of your career, D'Alessio advises there are still buying opportunities on the market. But he also advises you start considering other options, including bond alternatives, private equity, or investment grade life insurance. Finally, if you are approaching or already in retirement, D'Alessio says the five years before or immediately after you stop working can have the biggest impact on your entire retirement fund. So now is the time to make sure there are safety nets in place and money is transitioned. He also says if you're in the bracket, you should get a second opinion on your current assets and strategies. Some studies show a third of those who get out of the market for emotional reasons never return which Delasio says is the worst thing investors can do. Somewhere down there near the bottom is when the one in three people will make that move and sell off. And that is the worst thing you can do because then you have locked in those losses. And then of course, as we're getting here near the bottom, it's the most opportunity for growth. Now, Delasio says we may be in for more losses through the rest of the year when it comes to the markets. The reasons, those ongoing inflation concerns, the wars overseas and political instability, as well as the upcoming midterms are causing major volatility. Back to you guys. All right, buckle up. It could be quite the ride. Thank you so much, James. So it looks like the NASDAQ might finish in positive territory today, but it also fell by 29, 29 points or about a quarter of a percent.